Hi, I'm Phil, and today I'm going to explore the uh, Seed Studio Grow Vision AI module, and we'll be particularly looking at version two. So let's have a look at it, see what it, um, what it is and uh, how it compares with version one. So the kit, I got a kit, and um, it contains... Uh, the modules, one, two, three, four modules that you see in this picture. The one in the middle on the top row is the Grove module. And that's where all the um, interesting image processing takes place. To the left of that, we've got the um, Raspberry Pi camera. And to the right, we have a Shaol ESP32. And um, I've sold it on the carrier. So they're it needs a carrier to plug in to the uh, carrier board uh, that you can see in the uh, left middle of the um, vision processor. There's a Grove connection, and that's why they call it Grove. Just under those three modules, there's a cable, and that's the ribbon cable that goes uh, from the Raspberry Pi camera into the Grove Vision AI. And what makes it interesting is that it's got a lot of um, powerful uh, hardware uh, that um, does the image processing. And um, it implements the um, algorithms and technology from Google, uh, particularly the TensorFlow uh, algorithms. So uh, let's um, have a look at it. We um, uh, can see how it compares with version one and it's mainly in the inference time so um, version two is about 10 times faster in doing image processing and uh, recognizing images which amounts to about 30 frames a second instead of just three frames a second so what would you use it for where, where you want um, embedded um, AI um, in the field, uh, like in tiny machine learning applications, industrial applications, city, and where I come from was transportation. I could use it on the road to count vehicles, count cars on each direction and in each lane. And I can also count pedestrians. So I, I could use it to determine how busy the uh, transport routes are and a couple of um, previous um, applications i could use it for pavement detection and for bridge inspections okay so uh, lots of other possibilities uh, including security to detect people and as a human machine interface which um, could use gesture recognition of either your face um, or your um, hands. Okay, so uh, we might um, have a look at its um, AI possibilities and um, we'll look at the um, compatibility. Compatibility, it's compatible with the Shoal series, Arduino, Raspberry Pi. Hardware-wise, if we look at the systems integration, Right in the middle here, we've got the Grove AI version two uh, with its architecture. And to the um, left, we have the camera. And in this case, it's a OV5647 camera. And that's the one that I'll be using for the demonstrations. To the right, I've tried it with the uh, Shaol ESP32 C3, and it works very nicely under the... Um, Arduino IDE to um, process the software. Uh, so this is what's inside or um, the different functions of the chip. And I've tried various cameras, uh, including all of these ones, and um, they all work quite nicely. Okay, so um, the ones that I've tried are the um, OV5647, and uh, with different field of views. Okay, if we look at the performance-wise and compare it with um, version one, um, the refresh rate is um, much higher. 
but also it has a much better energy uh, efficiency, consumes a lot less power, uh, one-tenth of the power um, of a Raspberry Pi, and um, a bit lower compared to the Grove Vision AI version 1. Sort of interfaces, it's got i to c and uh, we can access that via the uh, Grove connection. Um, there's UART and um, USB via the um, Type-C socket. Okay, so uh, software-wise, um, I'm going to demonstrate SenseCraft to deploy models that have already been um, compiled uh, for the uh, Grove Vision AI. And uh, we'll see how they're uh, uploaded to the unit. You can extend it. I use the um, Arduino, and um, there's a library available called the Seed Arduino SSCMA uh, that can be used um, in the Arduino IDE environment. Projects. Well, I've been looking at um, quite a number of demos, and uh, these have worked quite successfully. They're quite simple. Uh, the ones that I've been trying uh, is just to um, uh, do things like use the Shaal processor uh, to get the recognition results, which are reported by the um, Vision AI module. So the hardware-wise to do that, I've used the Vision, the uh, Shaal processor, and... Um, that um, and the Raspberry Pi camera. Software-wise, to do all that, I've um, used the um, web application from Seed Studio, which is called SenseCraft, and that's how I've deployed it. So we might actually see what the results were. I got some good results. It was able to... Um, use the shell to recognize the results. And I used um, a gesture detection model uh, to implement the game Rocks, Paper and Scissors. Okay, so uh, that worked quite nicely. And uh, stay tuned, I'll give you a demonstration of that. The other module was to actually send commands um, and receive uh, imaging results from the um, vision module to the Shaal ESP32 processor. And I'll uh, have a look at that later. That went quite well. And I've explored quite a number of um, uh, hardware devices for compatibility. So if we look at the um, version one, it looks like this, and it has a camera on board. Version 2 doesn't have a camera on board, but it does use the ribbon cable to connect to Raspberry Pi cameras. And those cameras can include any of these ones. So I've been testing all these cameras for compatibility. And uh, the one that comes with the kit is this one. And I've added a um, protection cover because that little camera comes away very easily. Um, if I wanted um, IR vision, I can use um, additional IR LEDs, and that can be good for night vision applications. And the controller, here's the ESP32 that goes onto the carrier on the Grove Vision AI module. Okay, so stay tuned, and I'll give you a desktop um, demonstration. Here we have the original Grove Vision AI version one, and it's got the camera on board, and I've used this on a couple of projects already. Now that's been replaced with version two, and I've got a couple of um, um, demonstrations of it. The first one here, uh, you can see that it's actually expanded compared to the uh, version one, so you can now put on a, um, a shawl processor such as a uh, ESP32, and that goes on to the carrier on the back. So there's a carrier slots where you can um, 
plug this straight in like that and with the Grove connection on it the um, SD card reader and the camera adapter you've got um, a complete vision AI system now I'm testing this with various cameras so the one that um, comes with the extended kit with the Raspberry Pi camera um, I put a case on it to protect the uh, camera and the uh, camera actually falls out quite easily so it does need some sort of protection so there's that one um, it will also work with these cameras and um, I'm testing a variety of other cameras so um, we've got this camera which is a more recent one from Raspberry Pi and we've got the um, infrared um, camera here so we can um, see in the dark and there's a couple of more ones and I've got them on mount so this mount here is a, is a uh, Raspberry Pi camera and um, it uh, allows me to easily uh, mount it on the desktop there's a, another couple of examples and this one here is in a Lego configuration it mounts onto a Lego pieces and uh, uses the same Raspberry Pi version 1.3 camera okay so what I'm going to do now I'm going to I've connected this middle one uh, and I'm going to see if it can identify uh, my face so um, we're going to uh, point it in this set point the camera towards me and uh, we'll see what it looks like so um, here I am on the computer screen and it's recognized my face and I've already um, set up the uh, uh, face detection um, module there okay so um, let's move on to the next demo here we have the um, SenseCraft web application that helps us deploy models so that we can download them to our Grove Vision AI version 2. And uh, what we do, we've got a choice on the top here. We can either have the, the ESP S3, ESP33 S3, or we have the Grove Vision. And that's the one we're going to select here, and then we connect it. And uh, once we connect, we can then select the model that we're interested in so there's a few models not many uh, the one i'm going to uh, use as a demonstration is face detection so uh, i've selected that and i'm going to upload it to my um, grove vision ai and it's now flashing the um, the unit now so once we're flashed it, we'll uh, do a bit of testing and see how it works. So it actually goes through this process uh, twice. So it looks like it's flashing up to uh, getting towards 100% now. Then it um, seems to repeat the flashing process. It waits a while. We're setting. So we've got it now. So um, what, what we've got is uh, a picture of me and it's recognized my face with um, about a 70% confidence level 80 85 percent so it's recognized my face even though I can move it in different directions it's uh, recognized the face and that's the um, sensecraft from seed studio and it's a web tool to help you um, deploy models ai vision models into your um, uh, device like the grove vision ai version 2.